Let's see, would you like to go first? And yes, actually. Cool. Give it back up. So I was just getting to my rant about um, expanded format. Um, who do I want to throw out here first? Doesn't really matter. Okay, so what I was saying, um, in case anyone in here is new to expanded format or anything like that, expanded format goes back further with cards uh, from 2011 all the way to now. Um, it's a fun format. There's a couple things in it that need to be fixed. Uh, <laughs> that need to be fixed for sure. Um, rat time. Okay, this is... Let's hope I can actually show a good display of it. I need to set out at least one rat this turn. And I can get there with this Ultra Ball. Um, actually, I'm okay discarding... Let's see. I need to get one rat out, and then we're going to be cooking to pull off this insane combo. I can't believe those are the things that I'm going to discard, but it'll make sense in a second. Um, let's take a look at this rat, what this rat says it does. Super Fang. Actually, just a second, I won't. Cool. Um, and I'm going to double check in between turns. Alrighty, I hope you guys are still still around. That's the uh, number one problem. I am, I'm still working out. My buffering does drop sometimes in my Wi-Fi. So I'm figuring out that problem. Um, okay. This... Sh uh, it should be either Shaman. Shaman should be expanded or Scoop of Ned. Whichever one they decide to do first, uh, they should. <laughs> Uh, they absolutely need to expand one or the other. Um, if we were playing in real Pokemon matches... It would have been banned already. There is no way. Uh, people think ADP is the problem right now. <laughs> ADP is just part. Um, actually, there's cases. For, okay, let's see if we can make the pull off this combo. So all I need to do now, the part where I had to set up this Rattata. Let's go ahead. We're gonna play a supporter. I just need to get my Jirachi out of this active, and then I'm going to wreck this ADP. Uh, let's go ahead, pull out. We have a shame in there already, so hopefully we get something good off our top deck. Um, actually, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I just got to get this Jirachi out of the active, so I need to hit a scoop of net, and then I'll be able to... I just got Shaman. Um, either Shaman or scoop of net. They need to ban one of the two, and I might be able to show exactly why right here. Uh, let's see. What else do I have in there? I have another Dedenne. I have more Shaman in there, so we can discard. We're going to need to discard a couple things. Let's see what we have for draw power. Let's do Guzma and... And Rattata. Because we're probably going to play down this hand. Shaman is there, so I only have one more Shaman. So I need to hit a scoop of net off this, off this Shaman. Uh, the tag team title does serve um, a tag, so uh, I would say the closest, the best description, a tag team is a certain type of card that kind of has its own function. Um, typically, the tag team cards are to have stronger HP and such, um, and they are, have become a staple, so we need to hit a scoop of net, scoop of net, scoop of net, scoop of net. Uh, oh, float zone. Perfect. Okay, so... Uh, Crazy Jack, watch this. My rat is just about... <laughs> my rat is just about to knock out God. <laughs> oh, no, he quit. He, I didn't get a show with that. Oh, no, it was supposed to show that. Okay, Crazy Jack, let me show you the combo I have with rat. He quit before I could do it. I was just about to knock him out. Um, so, uh, Rattata... Rattata and me go way back to when... This Rattata wasn't even the first one. Um, so this Rattata reads, Super Fang, put damage counters on the ten defending Pokemon till it's, until its remaining HP is 10. So on that ADP, it would have done 270 damage. And then I need to have some other kind of modifier to knock out that last damage for the tag teams. I run 2-3 Shrine in this list or Hypnotoxic Laser to take out that last 10 HP. And then I knock out... Um, 
this deck looks like so much fun. Let me pull up the list for you real quick, and I'm going to go a little bit into a backstory. So my first, uh, what was missing, this deck was um, a prototype. And I, I actually, I haven't made a video about this deck yet. Um, had I had tournaments been happening this, happening this year, oh, I was so ready to bring this deck to it. Um, I was so ready to bring this deck. So this Rattata, I had looked at this one for a while, but a couple years ago, before um, me, and, me and Rattata go way back, um, Raticate actually. Eradicate is what we're looking. So, for so a couple years ago, when I first got into the competitive game, like four or five years ago, the first deck I brought to a competitive tournament was this guy. Um, his attack does the same thing, but he was a break, so he was basically a stage two. Um, and the only reason why I used him over this Rattata was because this Rattata at the time required three energy, which was super hard to pull off. Uh, Zayshin V. <laughs> Uh, which was super hard to pull off um, because we only had DCE. But in this format, we got triple and uh, you know, broken bonds. We got triple boost. So the second I saw that combo, the first thing that thought to mind wasn't thinking about Charizard or anything. It was like, hey, I can make this Raticate really good. And over the summer, I really fine-tuned it. Let's do one more match with it. Um, actually, so you have a chance to take a look at the full list um, before... Uh, this has been one of my favorite decks. There's other things in here that are choice. I only need four triple four triple boosts because I have draw power like no other. I have my two shaman and four scoop up nets. So the odds of me of hitting what I need to are pretty good. Um, and I have a couple other things to hit out what I need. But I have loved this deck. Uh, let's go ahead jump into one more match with this with this deck that I have become, uh, I, I absolutely love. I grinded with this deck a lot over the summer. Oh, I don't mind saying this actually. So most of the time, uh, do you have a Discord where you can put a list? I need to make a Discord. I uh, I don't yet. Um, what I can do? How do I how do I want to do this? I might be able to copy and paste it or something. Um, I'll make sure I'll make sure I make a list for this. Make it maybe I'll make a Discord. I, I can't believe it. I'm official. I need to make a Discord. <laughs> uh, like I, I said this earlier, Crazy Jack, this is totally like me doing live streams and stuff. Um, it's totally kind of like a work in progress. This has been by far. The past two nights in a row, I've had two really good live streams. Last, last night, I played with some friends for a couple hours. And tonight has been the most people I've had on um, at once. I, um, I've been really, really happy with, the, with where this has been. The den I start, it happens, not the worst thing in the world. I almost want to say we're playing, guaranteed playing. It. Could be playing against Malamar. So what this deck does lose against, um, it does lose pretty hard against single prize attackers. It's not impossible, but you have to be really careful with managing your resources. Um, so what I was saying, usually expand format, so... Ooh, okay, Guard Trump, Giratina, I'm feeling pretty good about. I gotta be careful with one thing in this matchup. This guy can wreck my rats pretty easily with his first attack. Um, but so normally this time of year, usually starting from June all the way through October. So I live in the Portland, Oregon area. Um, my vlogs and stuff, I'll say that, so I don't mind sharing that. Uh, uh, normally, our big tournament every single year is a is a expanded regional. So all of our local tournaments and stuff from June all the way from November, from that first week in November, are all is all expanded format. So normally this time of year, I'm playing. I play expanded format usually about four months out of the year, which is a pretty pretty long time to be playing in expanded format. Um, most other places stick to standard. I mean, please, please absolutely do. Lucky, Lucky V would love to take a look at it. Um, 11 followers. Like, honestly, this is, this, is, this is cool. 11 followers. Like, I doubled last night when those were just two of my friends. But we actually got, like, 10, fall, 10 11 followers tonight. That's really cool. Um, this was one of my favorite, favorite decks. Um, I played around with this deck a lot last year. Uh, this was one card. Uh, Garchomp Giratina, I don't think people ever... I think this was the best list that people got with it. Um, and I don't think it was ever truly shined in any format. This was a crazy card. Um, 
and I did pretty good within a couple tournaments. So let's get started. Let's grab a couple rats. Uh, eradicate. Eradicate's there. We'll get a couple extra. Oh, do I have a Savali's prize? Oh no, Savali's prize. Um, this guy's just really good. He has a really good ability in his normal type, so that's why I have Savali GX in here. There's another Savali I could have in here too, um, but his, his attack and ability kind of make sense to have in this list, so I'm a pretty big fan of having him in here. Um, so I need to be able to hit some more stuff next turn. And get that uh, and get that Dedene is in danger too. So we need to just keep drawing right now. We need to draw some more cards. Uh, he's going to put out some more stuff. And he'll figure out pretty quickly what my strategy is. So let's do this. Let's actually quick ball for one more. Um... Uh, I didn't want... No, people actually figure out what the list is. I want to actually show... I haven't been able to show the match yet. It doesn't mean I'm going to win. His deck could absolutely wreck... Uh, people get scared of the rats, actually, which is really funny. Um, these big these big prize deckers do get scared uh, of this Raticate. That's in this deck, though. Cool. Uh, honestly, I'd have to... Uh, ooh, Butterfree too, Butterfree. Um, I'll build it at some point. Um, let me, I'm gonna take a screenshot of it now. Cause I, oh, you have a couple of us here too. Cool. Um, I'll build them even and put them on here and maybe even do them over live stream and tweak some things here and there. Uh, a lot of my lists, I usually start basing off of kind of a couple other YouTubers here and there, but then, um, eventually, Eventually, most of my lists so like I've just been playing Pokemon long enough now too, not that not to a point where I have lists memorized, but like so the cool part about playing Pokemon is that uh, did you start streaming yes uh, yesterday streaming? Uh, I've been doing it off and on for a couple weeks. I've usually been streaming on Sundays, um, but I've been doing it definitely doing it more consi uh, like more throughout during the week and stuff. Um, the first couple weeks were honestly just testing my i got a new laptop testing out my wi-fi testing out uh, troubleshooting all the issues and stuff um so that's really what the first couple weeks were um and i honestly can't believe i'm interacting with people at all right now uh so that's that's a little crazy <laughs> um uh actually uh crazy jack i don't think i've said this uh yet either so i i'm uploading on here i honestly monday seems to be the magical day so maybe i'll just start doing live streams every single monday seems to be a good option um the other place I upload just about every single day, uh, I've been making Pokemon content over on TikTok, and I upload there under the same name, Pokemon TCG Daily. I upload fun videos and stuff over there just about every single day, booster pack openings, that sort of thing. Um, and I've had a really lot of fun time with the community over there, and I'm trying to hit over a thousand followers over there, because over on TikTok you can't live stream until you reach a thousand, and then try to get some of those people over here. Um, but that's been really fun though. Uh, yeah. Uh, so my, um, my name, Crazy Jack, um, Pokemon TCG Daily comes from, so in 2018 through all the way through, I think it was, actually, I want to check one thing real quickly. Um, 2018 all the way through about a quarter of the way from 2019, 2018, all of 2018, I uploaded one Pokemon booster pack opening every single day without missing a single day um i don't know what even like inspired to do that i just wanted to do it <laughs> um so i did it uh but later this year in 2021 i might attempt to do that challenge again but over on tiktok this time um and i've had 